is Pablo Spelitis, and I like Diary of the Wimpy Kid! Welcome to 5 Minutes with Dan, starring Pavlos and Angela Pavlidis, where you get to spend a few minutes with the smartest and coolest kids in the whole world, and they're dead, too. And now, here are your hosts, Pavlos, Angela, and Nick Pavlidis. Who's ready for an awesome episode of 5 Minutes with Dad? Me! Yes, I am here with someone, some Cetus, right? No, Pavlos! Pavlos! Uh, Pavlidis! Pavlos Pavlidis, and we're excited. It's been a long, fun summer. We took a little break at the end of the year because Pavlos had a bunch of games and stuff going on, and we didn't want to add. We'd like to have this show be fun and not something that it seems like it, we take the fun out of it because we have to do it all every single time. Right, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, and do we love doing our show? Yes. Yeah, so since we spoke, we've had a couple things. We've had a couple of fun things happen. Pavlos had finished his baseball, right, buddy? Yeah. And Basketball camp, I finished. Basketball camp, we'll talk about all that stuff on shows. And our show was featured on SavvyMom.ca, the Canadian parenting website. And it said it's one of five podcasts listed as a fun, family-friendly show To listen to on car rides. How cool is that? Cool. What do you say? Say thanks, right? Thanks. Yes, we love that. So we were listed. It was us and a bunch of big, awesome shows by NPR, by Australian Broadcast, and by Pavlos. How cool is that? Cool. (laughs) Yeah. So we have a fun episode today. We're going to talk about something that Pavlos, so we like reading books at night, right? Yeah. Yeah. And Pavlos has a series of books. He likes going through series. So he went through Scooby-Doo for a while. He went through... What's another one that you used to like? Do you remember? We liked... Uh, the What was the Dog Man? What's yeah, it called? Yeah, Dog Man. There's a new one coming out. Yeah? Dog Man. And we liked a bunch of different ones. And we got new ones. We'll, so we'll talk about all the books we like, right? Mm-hmm. But this time, we're going to talk about... How Pavlos likes to read, because at night, generally, mom or dad will read some books for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, maybe a half an hour, right? And then I put on my radio that plays um, books on tape. Yes. You can listen to books on tape in the car, and I listen to the same exact book. It's called um, Diary of the Wimpy Kid. Yes. So that's what pa- we're going to talk about today, that reading. Pablo loves reading, and he really enjoys it when mom and dad read to him. But if you like listening to podcasts, you can listen to books just like podcasts. And Pavlos likes to read the book in his hand, the physical book in his hand, while the book on tape reads it to him too. And he gets to practice his reading that way. He gets to hear the story voices. And it's a really fun way to read right buddy yeah so what pavlos was saying was he was he uses it afterwards so he, when he falls asleep he we will read him part of the book and then he likes to have the book on tape continue reading to him a little bit and sometimes what do you switch books when you do that or how do you know your spot i do different books he does different books and then he falls asleep and you pause. Do you usually fall asleep with it on, or do you stop it? Oh, I fall asleep with it on. <laughs> he falls asleep with it on sometimes, and he likes riding in the car, listening to books, and that's fun. We like listening to music. Our mom and Pavlos like to listen to music a lot, right? Yeah. And Pavlos likes the books on tape and reading in the car, and it's a really cool way to have a family road trip, practice our reading, and hear stories while because. Mom and dad can't read while driving, right, buddy? Right. Yeah. So it's a fun way to do it. So Pavlos wanted to tell you a little bit because he really likes Diary of the Wimpy Kid. So we are going to put a link as today's resource of the week to one of Pavlos' favorite Diary of the Wimpy Kid books. And he's going to tell you a little bit about it. He's doing his first. This is his a book review, right? Oh, he's going, he's going to go grab one. All right, we're back. Pavlos learned how to use the pause button, right, buddy? I always knew how. (laughs) Yeah, so Pavlos paused it. I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to have to go back in and listen to make sure 
you know, understand what we're talking about. So, may, but Pavlos went. So here, if you didn't get it, if we cut it off too short, Pavlos went and grabbed just some of the books because he gets the Diary of the Wimpy Kid books out of the library. Do you get the uh, books on tape out of the library too? Yes. So they have both. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And there's one that Pavlos likes. So we put a link. If you go to five minutes with dad.com forward slash wimpy, that's going to bring you to a box set on Amazon to get books one through four. If they're new to you, that's our affiliate link. And if you decide to start reading it, you go to the library, you can get them. Or if you want them for your house, you go, you can go to Amazon and they're like nine, 10 bucks a book, or you can get a box set for 30 bucks or whatever, or eight bucks a book. Sometimes they're $4, right? Yeah. Yep. All right. So five minutes with dad.com slash wimpy. That's going to be the resource of the week. Now, Pavlos, why don't you tell everybody just in general, what Diary of the Wimpy Kid is about? So like Diary of the Wimpy Kid is about this kid. And his name's Greg. He has an older brother named Roderick and a younger brother named Manny. And he's always getting bossed around by his brother, older brother, and his younger brother is per- all like usually protected by his parents. So so Roderick always does pulls these tricks like ten, nine, eight, and then so like but first he start off with. Go and give me some ice cream. And you say that to Greg, and then he counts down, and then Greg always goes and does it for some reason. So the book is about this kid, and what's the the main character's name again? Greg Hefley. So Greg, and it, he keeps a diary telling everybody about his days and about his interactions with his brother and stuff like that sometimes, right? That Remember the book where they went on vacation? Yeah, but he doesn't keep a diary. It's just called Diary of the Wimpy Kid. Yeah, it's a story of his life, right? Yeah. Yeah, and sometimes it goes by uh, day by day, remember? Yeah, it usually does. Yeah, so that's kind of like a diary. So that's when people keep a diary, they write stories about what they did that day and how they felt, right? Yeah, but he he didn't write stories. He drew pictures, too. Yeah, so there are pictures in there, and there are some. They even have a movie, right, of Diary of the Wimpy Kid? Yeah, they have one through, I think, 12? Yeah, well, so we have we definitely haven't seen all the the movies, but one of the books is called the Wimpy Kid Movie Diary, and you get to see pictures of all the kids, the real life kids acting out the parts, right? Yeah, and then they have the next part as one of the Diary of the Wimpy Kid movie books. Yeah, so. Well, we wanted to jump on the mic because we're getting towards the end of the summer. We're going to have some episodes where we're talking about school because we're going back to school, and this is one of Pavlos's favorite times of the year, right? Yeah. Yeah. Pavlos loves going to school, which is really cool because his teachers have been awesome. His friends are awesome. And sometimes it can be a little scary, but if you still go ahead, even when you're scared, it ends up being a lot of what? Fun. Yes. All right. So we wanted to talk about books on tape. Pavlos loves books on tape. He loves especially Diary of the Something Something. No, Wimpy Kid. (laughs) Diary of the Wimpy Kid. And it's a great way we get to read and then Pavlos gets to hear the books on tape and you can listen to them, especially in the car, maybe even at bedtime sometimes. And it's a great way to read if you're learning how to read too, because you hear the person reading it and you follow along with the words yourself, right? There's a new one coming out in October called The Meltdown, Meltdown number 13, Diary of the Wimpy Kid. Yes. If you have, or if you're already in Diary of the Wimpy Kid, just so you know. Yes, if you're into it and you've been reading them and you've gotten through 12, be on the lookout because there's a new one. And you could probably, if you go to that that 5minuteswithdad.com forward slash wimpy, you could probably pre-order it on Amazon, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, books on tape, fun way to read, right? Yep. School's coming up. That's pretty exciting, even though you'll have new friends, which is exciting. And what else did you want to talk about, buddy? The cover has Greg inside a snowman and you can only see his head. (laughs) The cover of what? The new one, 13. 13. Oh, yeah. So if you see it, they're numbered. So you see Diary of the Wimpy Kid, one, two, three, four, five. They all have names of the books, but also to help you keep track. Number one does not have a name. It's just Diary of the Wimpy Kid, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So it's a cool book. Pavlos loves it. We've read, I've read a couple to Pavlos. His mom reads a lot to him, right? Yep. And, um, and books on tape too. Yeah. Awesome. All right. 
So be on the lookout. Make sure to press subscribe because we don't put episodes every single week because we want it to be fun fun, and not a chore for the kids. We want this to be something really exciting that they look back on and listen to just like Pavlos likes to listen to the episode about when Angela did the snock, s- <laughs> snack la- closet thing and she said, you should put a lock. And then after she said, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. I said you should put it so I could reach in. All you have to do is bleep, blop, boop. <laughs> Pull this thing in and go bleep, blop, boop. Yeah. So, Pavlos, we love, I love listening to them because I get to hear my two awesome kids. But Pavlos likes to listen to back to baby Pavlos and baby Angela in one of his favorite Four episodes. Four-year-old Pavlos, two-year-old Angela. Yeah. And two-year-old Angela did her, an episode with us where we talked about should we lock the snack drawer And she said yes until she realized that means she wouldn't be able to get snacks. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Awesome. All right, guys. So we are at 10 minutes with dad right now. So welcome back. You got bonus five minutes of Pavel's talking about Diary of the Wimpy Kid, books on tape, going back to school, snack drawers, lots of fun. Tell everybody, thank you for listening to Five Minutes with Dad. We usually always have it a little extra. Thank you for listening (laughs) to Five Minutes with Dad. (laughs) Bye-bye-bye-bye. Thank you for listening to 5 Minutes with Dad. To connect with Pavlos, Angela, and Nick, subscribe to the 5 Minutes with Dad newsletter at 5minuteswithdad.com.